Hey guys, so I'm going to show you two ways how to connect your DualSense to your Android. Now it's pretty simple. So first grab your Android. Now you want to make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. So you're going to swipe down twice and you guys should see the Bluetooth right around here. So it is turned on. Now just hold down on that. So now we're in the Bluetooth settings. Now you're gonna hold down the two buttons at the same time. So hold down the PlayStation button right here and also the Create button. So this used to be the Share button on the DualShock, but uh, now it's Create. And let me just turn off the lights so you guys can see it. Uh, so there's gonna be a blue flashing light. But yeah, just hold down both at the same time. Yeah, so it's starting to flash. Now it's in pairing mode. So to grab your Android, you just want to press on pair new device. Now for me it shows up as a wireless controller. So just press that. And it's going to press pair. Alright, so the controls are a bit different from what you may be used to. Let me just bring up a game. So usually you press X, but here you press O. Yeah, so it works pretty well. And you might need to um, customize the controls. But yeah, I mean, it does work. All right, so for the second method, we're just gonna use uh, USB type C to USB type C. So as long as your Android's from uh, like the past three or four years. But yeah, just connect that and connect this. Yeah, from here we're already connected. But yeah, from what I've heard, um, the Bluetooth works better. It's just uh, better mapping and stuff. So I would recommend using Bluetooth. Now you can also return to the home screen by pressing on the PlayStation button. And yeah guys, so there's to it. So I hope this helped out.